All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Real LeBron's Cabasana. If you are new, my name's Nolan, and we mostly do kayak fishing videos and bank fishing videos and go out and catch the biggest largemouth we can. But today, we're going to be talking about fishing rods. We actually got the Shimano Zodius here. This is the new Shimano Zodius. There was an old version, and a ton of people seem to love this the older version of this rod, so I wanted to pick up the new version and talk to you guys about what I li love about this rod and why I think it's an overall great rod. I haven't seen a lot of reviews on YouTube about this rod, so I really wanted to put this one out there to give you guys a more in-depth look at it and tell you guys more about this rod and my opinion about it. This is the 610 medium heavy moderate fast action and I will um, talk more about the action of this rod later in the video when we are on the water fishing with it um, and tell you guys what I think it's best for um, this model and tell you what I think bigger models um, would be better for and what I think the baits that are great to put on this rod are. But we're gonna go ahead and talk about what's new about the 2020 version of this rod and what's different about this one than the older version. What's better and what could be not as great. So starting down here, we've got the butt end of the rod, that handle side, and this is actually a new, a whole new design and material than the older rod. The older rod had just the regular foam um, grippings. This has actually got a new carbon monocoque handle on it, which is kind of like a glassy, plasticky, hollow material, if I explain that at all well. But it's really a, a harder, hollow material that just overall makes the rod extremely sensitive and even lighter. Um, you can basically, it's hollow, I think, all the way from here down and then this is where the carbon monocoque stop carbon monocoque starts right here it overall makes the rod much more balanced so much lighter and 10 times more sensitive you can feel the line just tapped if your hand is on here you're going to feel it vibrate here as much as you're going to feel it just at the tip so that is the main big thing that's the difference but there are a couple other things that different about this rod, I'm not sure if they changed the real seat, but moving up, we have the real seat, which is still the CI4 Plus, but they made it look a little bit different. They got written Zodius right here. Um, not sure if they changed the screw right here, but the screw is sick, no problems with that. Super smooth. I, I have had problems with other rods. Screws breaking, nothing is wrong with this. Another just super light feature, um, super duper comfortable, um, great real seat, no problems with this. Um, they did keep this part foam, which I am glad they did that because it's just overall more comfortable when you're holding the rod like this. I would not want to be holding this right here. It's, it gets kind of cold, especially in the winter and when it's rainy. So I'm glad they kept this foam. But. The second biggest part about this rod that's different from the older version is the rod, the blank of the rod. They put this coating on it. Um, it's kind of like a plasticky, clear coating. And what it really does, it keeps that rod from twisting. Like when you're casting, when you're fishing, most of the rods, when you don't even realize it, you won't realize it, but when you're doing those things, like when there's um, that bend in the rod, your rod is gonna twist and twist your eye holes out of alignment. So your casts are gonna be less accurate and you're not gonna have as much power. But with this, this coating makes it so your eye holes aren't gonna bend. They're gonna stay straight the whole time you're fishing. So what it really does is allow for much, much more accurate casts, much further casts because the line is gonna stay straight throughout the whole time you're fishing. And the thing I think it also does, along with that, I think it gives you more control of the fish. That's just what I've learned from fishing with other rods and fishing with this rod. This is a medium rod, but it feels a lot more powerful and like you have more control over the fish when those eye holes are aligned. So 
when you're fishing off your kayak or whatever and you're trying to land that bigger fish at the boat you can really work that fish and get its head to turn where you want it to turn so this is so this is a really cool thing i think they did with this new zodius rod um overall the feel of the rod is fantastic it's super light when the reel is on here it's super balanced right now the balance point is right around there about six inches above the reel seat but when your reel's on there it's going to be perfectly balanced where you're placing your hand so you're not going to get tired or uncomfortable holding this rod it's extremely light the lightest rod i own and just a very comfortable fun rod to fish with i love fishing with it but we're gonna put this rod to the test by heading out to the water, doing some pond fishing, um, and really see what this rod is all about. Really put my best opinion on this rod, see what I like about it, see if there's anything I don't like, which from fishing it for about a month now, I freaking love it. There's nothing I can say I don't like about it, but we're gonna go ahead, throw a reel on this guy, bring him out to the water, and see what he is all about. We'll see y'all there. So this is the 610 medium, moderate, fast action rod. And I think one of the great things about these Zodius is, <clears throat> is that they have more of a backbone to them. I don't know if that coat puts um, more of a backbone into them, but the backbone allows you to fish jigs and fish um, jerk baits much better because it still has that tip that um, quicker tip but it's got that very strong backbone so this is the medium i would call it i wouldn't call it a medium heavy but i would say it definitely has a very strong backbone um and a nice quick tip so oh look at that i snagged a little crankbait yeah here i'm gonna get that but for now can you hold this so yeah i would say this rod um is definitely a medium but it's gonna feel stiffer than it is because of that backbone. It doesn't bend as far down the rod as you'd think. So it's great for jerk baits where you have that fast tip and you can jerk it. But when you get that hit, you can really lay the hook into those fish. So it's fantastic for like the baits that you lay into those fish, but you still need that faster tip. All right, so talking more about the coating on this rod, the um, kind of plasticky clear coating and how it allow, allows you for more accurate casts and how that does that, like I said at the beginning of the video, it, it keeps the eye holes straight. So I'll show you right here. When I have pressure on the rod, those eye holes aren't going to twist um, and turn and the rod blank isn't going to twist and turn and that's gonna allow your eye holes to be straight the whole time when you're fishing and that al allows the line to go straight through the eye holes while you're casting and you're gonna get so much more accurate casts and the other thing I think the coating does so the coating um, is I think really cool really um, creative and really smart of Shimano to do that it also looks pretty sweet. It's kind of like a clear, but also shiny little coat. So really cool thing they did there. The weight of this rod is amazing to me. Not that it's like the lightest rod ever, but it's an extremely light rod for the price. And the main thing is of how comfortable and balanced the rod is. I mean, once you throw that reel on there, you're gonna have no problem fishing that thing all day because we go out eight hour fishing trips on the kayaks and I have no problem fishing with this rod um, the whole time. There's no uncomfort, there's no, um, it's not tip heavy while I'm just constantly reeling or jerking. This is extremely, extremely comfortable. The weight is balanced just above the reel, but it's it's a fantastically balanced rod and you will fish this all day without even noticing and that's what i think makes a great rod when you can fish it without noticing it you're fishing it it's just a very extremely light balanced comfortable rod 
All right, coming to the last part of the new rod is the real butt, which is definitely my favorite, the carbon monocoque real butt. Um, this is definitely my favorite part of the rod. I've never seen a rod um, company that's done this with their rod. It's super cool because you might, you might be questioning, is it really lighter? Um, is it really more sensitive? And is it uncomfortable when you're fishing? Um, all of those, I would say it's really great. I mean, it's super sensitive. It's, it's a harder material. You, you can hear it. It's a different material. I don't, I'm not sure how to explain it, but it's hollow from here down and it just allows for the bait or the, the bite and whatever is hitting the end of your rod to travel through the rod without anything slowing it down like the foam right here. So it's extremely sensitive. It really helps. Um, it also makes it a lot lighter than your regular foam and it's not uncomfortable for me yet. The only thing I don't like about this, which is really just a petty thing, is when I'm fishing in the winter and the rain, it gets cold as hell. It's literally ice when I go down to cast this bait. It is, it's freezing when I put my hand here. But really, not a problem. But yeah, really cool piece to it. My favorite part of the rod is just that real butt. So super cool. But yeah, we're gonna fish around and really get the feel of this thing. And I guess we're gonna meet you guys back at the shed. Guys, I just hooked into a fish and it actually feels like a real nice one. It actually feels like a real, oh my God, this might be a big one. Ben, oh my God, Ben, this is my PB. This is my PB, dude. Oh my God. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh my God. This is like a six. He's pushing six. Ben, come on, run. Ben, he's barely hooked. I'm, I don't want to go down and grab him. He's... How big was he? That was a five pounder. <sighs> you guys saw that. Oh, I should have just grabbed him. I was scared. I was so scared. All right, that wasn't my PB anyways. <laughs> I saw his back a little bit. He was pushing, he was, he was. Ugh. That sucks. That sucks. Like I was just fishing and I felt like the small tick. Mm, I shouldn't just grabbed him, what was I thinking? That wasn't my PB, but that was a freaking monster. Well, I was scared, dude. Like, I, I, I was scared I was going to lose him trying to grab him. I was scared I was going to pull my hook out trying to reach down there. I just wanted to be safe. My heart is beating so fast. All right. Well, let's keep fishing. All right, guys. We've made it back to the house. And... We're gonna finish up talking about this rod. I'm gonna tell you guys what I liked about this, what I disliked about using this on the water. Let me flip some switches on and set you guys up right here. All right, so we are gonna finish up talking about this Zodius 2020. I have enjoyed this rod for the two months I'd, I have had it. It has been a very exciting, very fun. I say exciting because of the big fish I just lost using it. But it has been a very nice, comfortable rod to use. I would recommend this rod. It is at around $200. Um, I'm not sure how much the old one is. I'd assume this one is more. I think this rod is definitely worth the $200. This is the nicest and rod I own. I own several other rods around this price range, and this is definitely my favorite. Um, remember what I said, great for jerk baits, great for jigs. Um, I don't know if I'd necessarily frog with this. You definitely could, but that hard butt might bother you some. Um, that monocoque handle jabbing into you when you're slamming those hook sets like with that heavy braid, but 
Overall, I love this rod. Very light, highly recommended, very comfortable, and extremely sensitive. And if you guys got anything helpful out of this video, out of this review, or if you just enjoyed watching, I'd be very thankful if you guys hit that subscribe button. If you wanna see more videos like this, and if you wanna see more videos of me losing five pound fish. That was kind of depressing, but it happens. But thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of Real Bronski Bassin, and we will catch you guys on the next one.